John Blackman, the funny and much loved radio and television star of a golden era, is today being remembered for his warmth and kindness after passing away aged 76. Just cutting through the applause there, that's just fantastic. <laughs> okay. Great to uh, be here tonight. With rapid fire wit and a glorious voice, John Blackman got his start in radio before moving into TV, starring as the voiceover guy in the iconic Australian variety show Hey Hey It's Saturday. Then there's the man from Jupiter. Hello, all Earthlings. <laughs> oh, I can't hear the pips. Pardon? The pips. That's because I haven't peeled the orange yet. <laughs> the show was an institution, airing for 28 years. Often you didn't see him, but his presence was always felt, and he was really the backbone of that show. What kind know. of a head of a stick do you think I am? <laughs> hey Hey's wild, eclectic style, perfect for Blackman's banter. It was dangerous too, and if you managed to get the camera, and you, and you only had about five seconds, and you better be funny. Does your dad know you've got his golfing hat on? <laughs> Among his many characters, the most famous was Dickie Knee, a wise-cracking head on a stick. That's right, I don't have any arms or legs or anything. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, it amazes me sometimes. A living legend, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Like you, well, it's really you are, John. Oh, you are. <laughs> I'm just practising for the Grand Prix tomorrow. No. Oh, my gosh, he was the master. John Blackman was the master. He was a juggernaut. The fastest ad libber. I've ever met. Very quick on his feet. He was cheeky, he was irreverent. Sweet. Gentle, generous man. In 2018, an aggressive form of skin cancer resulted in Blackman having his jaw removed. Despite the hardship, he stayed upbeat. I've learnt what it's like to be disabled. It gives me a new insight into what other disabled people go through. The other plus factor is a great way to lose 10 kilograms and it's, it's an awful way to save money on toothpaste. <laughs> when I think of John Blackman, I have the biggest smile because he was so kind. He loved making people laugh. Terrific bloke, you know, just a real all-round good guy and a real pro. In recent years, John had been battling bone cancer and is believed to have yesterday succumbed to a heart attack. He was 76. Of course, live from the lands of the Kulin Nation. And Wilbur Wilde played saxophone and cracked countless gags alongside John on Hey Hey for so many years. Wilbur, what was he like? Blackers? Yeah. Look, I had the pleasure of doing radio with John uh, in the late 80s. Now, I joined as a full-time cast member in 1984, right? And, we, you know, we'd see each other each week and we're friends and everything like that, but when you do radio with somebody sitting across the other side of the panel, that's when the uh, an intimate friendship began for me between Blackers. Uh, you know, uh, we knew where all the bodies were buried and <laughs> the laughs that he gave me along the way were just fantastic. <laughs> Wilbur, what made John so great? Look... I think tenacity from a young age, all right, he started off in radio uh, in Canberra and uh, then just fell into Hey Hey It's Saturday and they wanted to, you know, some guy to do some announcements. And, of course, the nature of that for John is that he was always looking for the gag. He became, uh, well, look, no John Blackman, no Hey Hey It's Saturday. Yeah, I've said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's a big call, but I see why you would say it. And we were thinking about it today. I don't really know of any other any other role like that in TV, probably before or since. Do you think anyone else could have done that job? I don't think anybody else would have invented that job, Waleed. Right. There you go. Yeah. He made his, you know, he made his place there uh, when it was a cartoon show on in the mornings in like uh, like from the mid-70s. Blackers was this disembodied voice up in the booth, you know. I, I, I don't think I ever met him for about the first two years, uh, <laughs> uh, by which time you go, ah, so that's what that guy sounds like. You know? That's what he looks like. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And what a wonderful voice he had. Indeed. It's amazing to hear you talk about him. And I, I think as well just the showbiz from the 80s and 90s, it seemed like a magical time. Is there, is there a lesson or maybe something you saw or a conversation you had where you learnt something from him? I did learn a lot from John. Uh, about being a dad, about being a husband, about being a son. He was a great son to his mum. And look, my dad died when I was three and a half in a car crash, right? So for John to be part of the construct, and this is a compliment to him, 
For John to be a part of the construct that I have made of my father figure is the ultimate tribute I can, I can pay to him, just mm. on a personal note. Showbiz-wise, though, um, his take on uh, a lot of different stuff. And, I mean, he, he was just so experienced at, at many things. I learned a lot from John Blackman and uh, treasure and, uh, serving alongside him. It was an honour. But, look, you know, as sad as it is, it's been a day to remember the laughs. Mm. Well, Wilbur, we really appreciate you taking us along for some of that ride. Um, we are so sorry for your loss. Thank you for your time. Vale, John Blackman, and thank you for yours.